It may be controversial because I know some of you out there are enjoying it. I just didn't find anything. Hey everyone and welcome back on the channel. My name is Alex and today is the second video of the Advent Calendar series on the channel. Um, I hope you're enjoying this one video every day. So, you know, this is quite challenging for me, but I'm enjoying it and this is certainly the best moment of the year to do it. And it's also the best moment of the year to uh, give you my best shoes, which will come in another video very soon, but also my worst shoes for 2021, or at least my least favorite ones. Let's begin. Um, I'm, you know, I sort of questioned this, uh, the choices because all shoes are good to a certain extent. Um, they can serve some purposes, they can be fine for some people. So I tried to really, you know, come up with the shoes that didn't work for me. It doesn't mean that there are bad shoes, that you cannot purchase them. You can still enjoy them if you already enjoyed them before. No worries about that. First one, the Adidas 40 Forward. Yeah, I mean, you know, um, very heavy shoe, like, crazy heavy, heaviest shoe I measured, um, not fantastic rides, lots of technologies, that's fine, but really, you know, nothing crazy. So um, it's here, I did this 40 forward, uh, one of the, the shoes I didn't really like in 2021. I am not really hoping for, you know, any improvements on this one. I think the, the, the 40 forward compound, the midsole, won't improve um, very soon. It really requires a complete redesign, complete uh, rethinking, and the upper should be redesigned as well. So I'm not sure 2022 will see um, another 40 forward V2. Maybe, who knows, but I don't think so. And in any event, it requires so many changes that if the changes are minimal, I'm not gonna try it next year. Second shoe, for which I don't have many doubts as well, Hoka Clifton 8. I just, for some reason, didn't like the rides, didn't find anything um, improving after a couple of rounds, after a few rounds. And it was actually quite disappointing because I had memories from previous Clifton's as, you know, a very fine, more than fine, comfortable daily trainer that could also handle faster paces, um, different terrains. And here I, I didn't have any of that it was barely a fine shoe um, and I couldn't see myself recommending it uh, to many of you in the comments when you were asking. Some very specific niche cases where maybe you could benefit from the shoe. I really hope Hoke will come up with a Clifton 9 completely redesigned and then I would be happy to try it. Unlike for the 40 forward, I do expect Hoka to be working on the on the Clifton because it's one of the you know flagship shoe um, at Hoka. So hopefully 2022 uh, will have uh, Clifton 9, and I will be trying it for all of you. Before going into the last one, um, go in the comments at the end of the video and let me know which shoes you were the most disappointed about in 2021. I expect to hear from you there in the comments and chat with all of you. If you enjoyed the video, give it a big like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now, last but not least, the final shoe out of the three that I selected as being the worst of 2021, the ASICS Magic Speed. It may be controversial because I know some of you out there are enjoying it. I just didn't find anything good in it or very little good things in it. Um, the upper and the fit were actually quite bad. Um, the midsole and carbon plates didn't work together. I think there was a big stiffness, rigidity, firmness issue there. And the ride overall was quite dull, quite, you know, insignificant. So yeah, magic speed. But this one, I think I have the highest hopes for V2 in 2021. We had a rumor decoder episode um, featuring it. You can go check it here, upper right hand corner. I really believe ASICS um, has something quite nice, uh, you know, coming up for all of us. So uh, let's, you know, let's hope it will, it will just uh, erase the, the bad memories of V1 um, and it will bring some, some goodness for us runners. 
This is it for today, second episode of the Advent Calendar. Enjoy your run today, enjoy your ride, go beyond your limits, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow because this is the Advent Calendar. Bye-bye.